Hi, Peter here from Wonderstruck. Now, um, some of you may remember that in the past we've had a go at making liquid nitrogen bucket rockets. And to be honest, we've not met with a lot of success. So we're gonna give it one last go. Yeah, well, as I said, we haven't really met with a lot of success. And as I remember, the first one went something like this. Hmm. And the second one went a bit like this. Hmm. Right, so we're going to try and make things better with the third one, because this time we're going to use a much bigger bucket. And... Here it is. It's not actually a bucket, it's a bin. Now, our first buckets were about 10-15 litre capacity. This is 50 litres. So it's got about four times, just under four times the volume. So that means that when the gas expands within it, it's going to reach a pressure about a quarter of what it was before in the smaller buckets. Now, we're hoping that that is going to mean it won't explode. Now for those of you who missed what we did the first time, it's very simple. This steel container here, four millimeter steel, is the bottom half of a CO2 fire extinguisher. We're gonna put some boiling water in here. Uh, we're gonna then introduce a one liter plastic fizzy drink bottle with about a quarter of a liter of liquid nitrogen in. We're gonna screw the lid on, chuck it in there, then put the rocket on top. Now, when the bottle explodes, as it surely will, the mass Massive increase in gas pressure inside the bin is going to shoot it up into the air. I think that's fair to say it was a stunning success.